organized by PG and Research Department of Botany of Nallamuthu Kounder Mahalingam College, Pollachi. Everything is impossible until it is done. To start this webinar, I invite Ms. Janet Engini, 2nd MSc Botany, NGM College, to deliver the welcome address. Good morning to all. It's my privilege to deliver welcome address on this gracious occasion. First, it's my privilege to welcome Dr. R. Muttukumaran sir, Principal, NGM College, Polachi. Then it's my immense pleasure to welcome the chief guest speaker of this one day special webinar session, Dr. S. Usharani Ma'am, Principal Scientist, Agricultural Extension, Central Institute of Cotton Research, Coimbatore. I would like to extend my welcome to Dr. R. Kannan sir, Head Department of UG Botany, NGM College, Polachi, and other faculty members of UG Department of Botany, Dr. M. Lada Alsabil Ma'am, Dr. A. Loguma Devi Ma'am, Dr. K. Rajalakshmi Ma'am, and Dr. E. Neelamadi Ma'am to this wonderful session. Then I would like to welcome Dr. R. Rakimuthu Sir, Head Department of PG Botany, and other faculty members of our department, Dr. P. Satish Kumar Sir, Dr. A. M. Ananda Kumar Sir, and the Mrs. D. Saumya Ma'am to this blooming forum. Last but not least, I welcome all the participants, eminent professors, research scholars, students from various colleges and institutions to this knowledgeable forum. With this, we are here to inaugurate the PG Association of PG Planta for this academic year 2021 to 2022. I am sure that we all are going to enjoy this one day webinar session and we will enhance our knowledge as an entrepreneur in agricultural field. Thank you, General Engineering. Agriculture is the foundation of manufacture since the production of nature or the material of art. Now I invite Dr. S. Usarani Ma'am to guide us in the new path of entrepreneur opportunity in agricultural crops. So I welcome Dr. A. M. Anand Kumar Sir, Assistant Professor, PG and Research Department of Botany, NGM College to introduce speaker to the wonderful forum. So very good morning to one and all. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I am very much humble and I am very much uh, privileged to uh, invite and uh, introduce the chief guest to today's, uh, for the today's forum uh, now for the online webinar. Uh, Dr. S. Usharani Ma'am, Principal Scientist, uh, Agriculture Extension of uh, CACR RS Coimbatore. She acquired his uh, PhD, uh, uh, PhD, PhD in Agriculture Extension from Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, uh, Coimbatore, and a PG in Agriculture uh, Extension. Uh, that is MSc Agriculture Extension in Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, Coimbatore, and BSc Agriculture uh, from uh, Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. This area of wide area of research uh, promoting the ELS cotton and yield gap analysis in cotton, TOT model for bridging and uh, bridging of the yield gap, knowledge gap analysis in cotton, ICT enabled and mobile based cotton technology. Uh, so, like that, the wide area of research which was carried out by in our uh, today's chapters, and she was involved in many technology development, including. Uh, promoting the extra long staple cotton in India and disseminating the novel and proven technologies through frontline demonstrations uh, cotton under Government of India NFSM project and analyzed the yield and the knowledge gap uh, cotton under the institute project and developed a synergistic extension module for bridging bridging up the yield and the knowledge gaps in cotton. Likewise, the many uh, she has involved and it, uh, developed many technologies and uh, she got achieved in many things in research. And uh, she had already uh, handled many projects, including uh, external funded and also internal funded for the more than 15 projects the chief guest has ha ha handled. And she had participated in many conferences, including five international conferences, which has happened at abroad, and uh, nine uh, international conferences uh, at uh, happened in India. And there are many national conferences. She had been more than uh, participated and presented in 30 uh, national conferences and the national workshops uh, 14 and the training uh, attended uh, international uh, level 2 and then national level uh, 7 and the trainings conducted by the uh, today's chief guest uh, to foreign delegates uh, 5 and uh, to the scientists 4 and the extension to the extension officials 2 and the, to the farmers 15 uh, extension programs have been uh, given and she has awarded with many uh, awards uh, including very recently, uh, she uh, got his Negro Women Excellence Award uh, during the year 2020, uh, which was given by Negro Group of Institutions. And uh, she has uh, 
um, like uh, awarded by best oral presentation award uh, received by, from icr jsss kvk uh, mysore and then uh, awarded many sponsorship pro pro programs by from icac and also uh, she was awarded with a uh, partial sponsorship by organizing uh, committee of wcrc and uh, she has received an young scientist award um, for the field of outstanding contribution in the field of extension uh, so uh, with these awards and the grades and she has published many research articles including uh, in peer reviewed journals international level uh, four uh, publications and national level 15 and uh, two book publications and she has given many uh, chapter book chapters also published in the uh, international level and the national level national level 23 uh, book chapters have been uh, already published and including uh, training manuals for and with uh, she has she has also member in many associations and also professional bodies including association in professional societies uh, and all those things nine um, associations uh, she was member in uh, nine association members so like with this i introduce our uh, today's chief guest uh, for this uh, one day online uh, webinar uh, thank you one and all thank you now the session is uh, uh, to the uh, ma'am uh, Ma'am, uh, will you please uh, come on. Thank you, Dr. Anand, uh, for your kind mm -hmm. introduction and elaborate. Uh, it's an elaborate introduction. Thank you very much. Uh, most respected chairman of uh, the college, NGM College Principal, Dr. R. Muthu Kumaran, uh, respected organizing secretary, Dr. R. Raki Muthu, uh, the head of the division PG and Research Department of Botany, and Dr. R. Kannan, head of UG department, and faculty members from UG as well as PG research uh, department of botany, coordinators, executive committee members, all staff members, scholars, students, and participants. Very good morning to everybody. Uh, it's uh, uh, really a great privilege to share uh, about entrepreneurial opportunities in agricultural crops with you. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Now I'm sharing my presentation. Hope my slides are visible. Yes, yes ma'am. Thank you. Uh, the topic given to me is entrepreneurial opportunities in agriculture crops with special reference to cotton. Uh, already Dr. Anand has introduced uh, about me elaborately. I would like to uh, tell something about uh, my institute. I am coming from Indian Council of Agriculture Research. As you all know, this ICER is an autonomous organization under the Department of Agriculture Research and Education, Ministry of Agriculture Cooperation and Farmers Welfare, Government of India. Formerly, it was known as Imperial Council of Agriculture Research. It was established on 16th July 1929 as a registered body. You can find much details about this ICR from the website www.icr.org.in. And this institute, where from I am coming, is Central Institute for Cotton Research Regional Station in Coimbatore. This institute was started in the year 1959 as Project Intensification of Regional Research on Cotton, Oil Seeds, and Millets. In short, it was called as PIRCAM. And later, it merged with the Indian Agriculture Research Institute in 1965 as its regional station. In 1967, the All India Coordinated Cotton Improvement Project was started in this institute, and it has become the headquarters for this All India Coordinated Project on Cotton. In 1976, the uh, council has started Central Institute for Cotton Research at Nagpur in Maharashtra. Then this Coimbatore Institute has become its regional station for South Zone. Coming to today's topic, I will be covering the Indian agriculture, the laurels of Indian agriculture, the future challenges of Indian agriculture, and what do you mean by what do we, what do we mean by entrepreneurship, entrepreneur, the types of entrepreneurs, agripreneurship, agripreneurs, feasible opportunities of entrepreneurship in agriculture, few success stories, and also a quiz for knowing your business success quotient. A case study from cotton. First of first, I would like to tell about the laurels of Indian agriculture. We have the geographical area of 328.73 million hectares. At world level, we are in seventh rank uh, in the geographical area wise. 
and total cropped area 200.2 million hectares population wise we are second in rank almost uh, 1.3 billion uh, people we are having food crane production we produced last year we produced 296.7 million tons and total number of operational holdings according to 2011 census 138.3.5 million holdings average size of farm holding is 1.15 hectares livestock population we have more than 500 uh, almost 536.76 million milk production we are uh, at world level we are number 1 with uh, we are producing 198.4 million tons of milk x we are producing 114.4 billion numbers of x we are uh, in third place wool production 36.7 million kg we are producing fish almost 14164 tons we are producing meat we are producing 7.45 uh, tons we are producing sixth uh, uh, rank we are and vegetable production wise also we are uh, in second place at world level with 128.24 million tons fruits we are producing 98.72 million tons we have fruits production wise also we are second in so we are holding the second place and uh, we are contributing agriculture forestry and fishing value addition all together we are contributing 16.02% to the total gdp we have 15 agro climatic zones as defined by indian council of agriculture research having almost all the types of weather conditions soil types and capable of growing a variety of crops that is our strength coming to the challenges of what we the future challenges and current challenges what the indian agriculture are facing uh, demand for food grain by 2030 we need to produce 345 million tons according to the estimate of icr and we need there is a demand for quantity quality and nutritious food and uh, because every day the population is increasing and the average income of the people also increasing and the we have the effects of globalization and we have pre pressure on decreasing cultivable land to produce more quantity and more variety and quality of food uh, many crops they are all having low average productivity productivity in the sense how much we are producing uh, per unit area kg of uh, uh, agriculture produce per unit uh, per hectare that is usually the general term productivity uh, wise all the crops are uh, low compared to world average and uh, other countries average uh, our farming is subsistence farming all farmers are small holding farmers and that makes scale of economy in question low access of credit and prominent role of unorganized creditors we are having in our country and uh, the global hunger index to 2020 placed india at the place of 94th out of 107 countries so we have to achieve zero hunger by 2030 it's a great challenge and climate change another major challenge 1 to 1 2.5 degrees celsius temperature rise by 2030 so we it, it will be having serious effects on crop yields poor infrastructure for farming very less value addition as compared to developed countries these are the current as well as future challenges faced by indian agriculture to to face these challenges we need certain shifts focus shifts from production centered focus to we need to focus on farmers income centered that's why the government of india is stressing doubling farmers income beyond conventional crop production we need to think of modern crop production techniques and beyond conventional technology dissemination we need to think of digital technology dissemination public private partnership must be encouraged climate resilient agriculture should be promoted and we have to support sustainability development goals we are committed to uh, we have the responsibility of fulfilling sustainability development goals given by given at world level and our honorable prime minister said we need to have less land less time and we need to produce more more productivity and we have so many market led innovations are coming nowadays these innovations uh, lead, uh, they lead to development of entrepreneurship in agriculture that is called agripreneurship entrepreneurship what we mean by entrepreneurship entrepreneurship is the process of identifying the new business opportunities 
and turning same into practical reality by taking risks, experimenting with new ideas and initiatives. Generally, it's a process of designing, launching, and running a new business. Uh, for that, we need the entrepreneur should have the capacity and willingness to develop, organize, and manage a business venture along with the, any of its risks in order to make profit. Profit is the mantra uh, for entrepreneurship. Who is an entrepreneur? In contemporary meaning, we can say entrepreneurs are innovators or developers who identify the capture and the capture opportunities and also transform those opportunities in mechanizable concepts and creating uh, values through multiple stack stakeholders as well as resources. And they are taking risks while seeking rewards for their ventures and efforts. This is the definition given by Kuratko in 2016. In general, entrepreneur is someone who produces for the market and is a determined and creative leader always looking for opportunities to improve and expand his business. He likes to take calculated risks and uh, uh, unexpected risks also. Entrepreneur is passionate about growing his business and is constantly looking for new opportunities. Uh, Peter Drucker's quote says, the entrepreneur always searches for change, responds to it, and exploits it as an opportunity. There are different types of entrepreneurs, but I have taken uh, the types given by uh, Cashard and Brand back in 2007. There are four entrepreneurs, achievement entrepreneurs, sales entrepreneurs, technology entrepreneurs, and managers. Achievement entrepreneurs, they are primarily associated with desire to achieve. These type of in entrepreneurs, they have enormous amount of energy and capacity to take, capabilities to take charge. They take initiatives. They will not wait for things to happen. They often possess the leadership qualities, and they have great sense of commitment and responsibility in their business. These types of individuals are very good in several business-related aspects, and they will try to accomplish their objectives while heading their missions. Coming to salesman entrepreneur, these persons, these entrepreneurs, they possess skills to interact with people and have very good soft side of management aspects. They have the feelings of consumers' needs and wants, and they, they have a soft sale approach. They have enormous talent for connecting with people, spend most of their time in marketing their producers as well as services, and they will allow other people also to manage their business. These individuals, therefore, devote their time to understand who and how are the consumers in the market. They have a proper vision for marketing and sales practices to reach wider consumer groups. Another one is technology entrepreneur. Individuals belong to this category. Then generally, they have um, you know, very good ideas. They are idea developers. These individuals often possess great ideas. And they have the capacity to develop innovative process and invent novel products. And uh, these uh, technology entrepreneurs, they are good in analytical uh, analysis, and ana they have good analytical intelligence, and they take calculated risks in their ventures. And uh, although these, those individuals possess good uh, analytical intelligence to make way through several situations, however, at times, their missions can become a, a bit idealistic. The next one is manager. These types of individuals possess the qualities of taking charge of missions. They are very competitive by nature, but not as cooperative as one would expect in a teamwork. They are usually take positions of high authority, like external investors, sometimes board of directors like that. They prefer to work in large organizations than small entrepreneurial businesses. They seek comfort in making effective marketing strategies. Uh, but uh, they will not good in uh, selling products or services. The ways to sell are different. They employ logic and carefully uh, persuasion, carefully thought persuasions and mechanisms to sell their ideas. They have rich experiences, strong management skills, and possess strength in managing existing businesses. These are some of the types of uh, entrepreneurs. In this, uh, at this moment, I would like to take a quiz for knowing your business success quotient. 
uh, if you are comfortable, you can take the quiz now itself and you can find your quotient. Uh, it's uh, so simply 20 questions. It's all objective questions. You have to find, you have to just one and uh, you give the answer A or B, C, D, any one of that. I will read the questions. If you are comfortable, you can take the question now. Or uh, after that also, I think these uh, PowerPoints may be available to you. You can uh, um, take the question, a quiz in your home or in your college at relaxed um, pace. What is the key to business, to business success? That is the first question. The answers given are business knowledge, market awareness, hands-on management, sufficient capital, and hard work. You can mark anyone according to your um, knowledge or attitude, whatever it may be. If a relative ever asks me for advice about starting a business, I will tell them to do work for someone else in the field first, write a business plan, study marketing, give up the idea, and learn about budgeting. The third one is, which is the largest potential trouble spot? Too much growth, too little growth, too fast growth, too slow growth, sporadic growth. I trust. Um, you can apply many things also. Nobody, myself, my partner, a few key employees, my customers. The fifth one is, I am unhappy when my employees are late, unhappy, abrupt with the customers resi resigning, less dedicated than me. My customers are always right, too fussy, demanding, worth listening to, dumb. Rank this order of importance in small business marketing success. First one is word of mouth, advertising, science, location, community events. Eighth, when it comes to money, I am careful, too careful, emotional, shrewd, or nosed. Financially, my firm the, um, has trouble with cash flow has a good line of credit, is financed totally by receipt, no credit, is making better profits this year than lost, knows exactly where it is all the time. In hiring people, I take for too long. I look for the cheapest person hiring people. Personality is more important than experience. I look for the best person and I am away, uh, willing to pay. I only hire at a trainee level. So like this, another 10 questions are also there. Are you taking the test? Anybody taking the test? Yes, ma'am. OK, then I will read. The 11th question is, with my employees, the answers are, I treat everybody the same. I try to talk privately to everybody once a week. To whatever extent possible, I tailor assignments to personalities. I encourage them to talk to me about the business. I try to work alongside them whenever possible. The real key to business success is first option, hard work and perseverance, find products and service, advertising, knowing the fundamentals of business, employees. What do you mean by competition? Dumb, smart, cunning, everywhere, a constant threat. The 14th one is the best competitive advantage is option experience, understanding what the market wants, confidence, conducting a business ethically, a detailed plan. 15th one, I keep careful financial records, in touch with my customers, in touch with my employees, trying new techniques, wanting to retire. 16th one is my dream is to grow the business until someone else can run it, to work until I drop, to give up these headaches and have more fun at work, to try another business, to take a vacation. The 17th, I think business plans are for the birds, nice but not necessary, something I can do with my accountant, useful and informative, essential, would not do business without them. 18th question is, what makes a terrific 
entrepreneur. First one is creativity, discipline, consumer orientation, technical proficiency, flexibility. The 19th one is what does a business need most? Money, market research, help, time, a solid business plan. What is essential to marketing? The last question. A sixth sense, market research, customer awareness, experience and testing. Hope you have noted down the answers. You will see the answers. Scoring. You are scoring. If you have given A for the first question, your score will be 5. Like that it will be. And uh, if you have scored more than 75 to 100, you are a successful entrepreneur whose operations reflect uh, tried and true business practices. So you can very well start a new entrep business. 50 to 74, your business is probably headed for long-term success, but success will come sooner if you sharpen your awareness of solid management, management skills and marketing techniques. If you scored 25 to 49, you may be enjoying customer loyalty and repeat business. Never forget that Swabi competition is always looking for ways to take the lead. Don't let comfort um, lull you into false security, be creative and assertive. 0 to 24, you may well have the right product, but to sell it successfully, you need to increase your market awareness and improve your operating philosophy. Reach out for practical classes, seminars, and advice from people who have good business track records and keep persevering. It is the key ingredient to winning. Okay, anyhow, I am leaving the PowerPoint with uh, um, your uh, organizing secretary. So you can refer from that and uh, know your score and uh, you can know your business success quotient also. Thank you very much for participating in that. And coming to entrepreneurship in agriculture or agripreneurship, this agripreneurship refers to entrepreneurship in agriculture. Uh, it is defined that a holistic systems oriented approach to farming that focuses on the interrelationships of social, economic and environmental processes. An agripreneur is an entrepreneur whose business is agriculture or agriculture related. Why we need agripreneurship? To make agriculture an attractive and profitable business, we need this enterprise and we have distressed farmers. You might have heard about the farmers' suicides. In, the, in our country, we had so many farmers committed suicide uh, for past few years. These business farmers, for uh, to the distressed farmers, we need to address the issues through profitable agriculture. Since it is not profitable, uh, they have taken this ultimate decision. We need to address the issues through profitable agriculture. And we, as we have seen in the introduction, oh, many crops uh, in India, they are having low productivity than the world average. So to increase the productivity, we need agri ownership And to create solution for growing household income, uh, we need to double the farmer's income. For that, we need agri ownership And industrial developments and direct employment in rural areas, we need, for that, we need agri ownership To foster the national income also, we need agri economic development of farming community through employment generation, poverty reduction, and improvements in health uh, as well as food security in the national economy. We need this agri ownership oh, Scope of agri uh, We do, do we have scope for this agri ownership in our country? You may ask. I have already told in my introduction slides the laurels of Indian agriculture, as well as the challenges faced by Indian agriculture. Uh, India's diverse agroclimate facilitate production of temperate, subtropical, and tropical agriculture produce. So we are producing so much. So we have opportunities for agri ownership. And every day, the demand for agriculture inputs like seed, uh, feed, fodder, inorganized, uh, inorganic fertilizers, organic fertilizers, biofertilizers, or every day the demand for all these products are increasing. So there is a scope for agri ownership 
and application of biotechnology uh, nowadays we have developed uh, scientists we uh, developed research and development activities in biotechnology subject so it's a boon for production of seed biocontrol agents industrial or nursing of microbes for different products so there is a scope prospects in the world trade both raw as well as processed form of agriculture commodities they can trade at world market so there is a chance for that and large coastal line internal water co courses we are having in our country that should be utilized for production of marine as well as inland fishes and we have livestock wealth i have already told we are second in question third in question that provides vast scope for production of meat milk and milk products and poultry products we have forest forest resources uh, a great forest resources that can be utilized for production of forestry by products and we have facility we have climatic conditions and um, the city is um, other things are suitable for beekeeping as well as apiary and mushroom cultivation also a prospective enterprise organic farming organic farming wise uh, also india is leading nowadays and we can um, promote bio pesticide bio control agents genetically modified crops in that area also we need agri pronership and for equipments because in all the states we lack labs nowadays lab scarcity is the major problem in agriculture so we need to develop small equipments for equipments that is a great opportunity for agri pronership and production of vegetables and flowers and trained human resources in agriculture we need to teach the farmers for that we need trained agriculture graduates as well as other persons in uh, human resources uh, to train the farmers and employment opportunities in marketing all these are uh, telling the scope of agri pronership in our country and uh, we can say this uh, del chairman once said ideas are commodity but execution of them is not yes definitely we have the limitations in agri pronership also the literacy level of farmers that is a big challenge the conviction of farmers convicting farmers to create uh, new business and other things it's really a um, immolious task subsidies and issues related to subsidies uh, the reachability of the subsidies and uh, the eligibility how they are selecting all these things another problem and need of regular backup services self employed technicians technology extension backstopping everything we need for doing uh, for, for for agri business so legal know how there will be many legal issues may rise while running agri business venture so many times personal involved in uh, these businesses they ignore the rules and they disturb the fair trade environment nowadays uh, we are committed to the sustainability development goals so we have to cultivate we uh, in a good environment the crops we have to be cultivated in a good environment and it has to be processed in a good environment so fair fair trade environment we need as well as best management practices we need to apply and risks involved the resultant farmer members may lose interest in their own enterprise as well as in that of Uh, in a group in their leaders so all these uh, limitations may be there in agri pronership and one more author suggested an awareness about its business poor infrastructure lack of access to technology and capital and lack of support service and support in legal framework and social socio political instability so but the um, good thing is we have support and incentives for agri pronership provided by the government of india we have central sector scheme of agri clinics and agri business centers ac abc they are helping to set up agri ventures and uh, they are uh, giving training to agri entrepreneurs and also our national institute of agriculture extension management in short called manage hyderabad they are also um, helping uh, to start agri clinics and, and agri business centers and center for entrepreneurship development ced in hyderabad they are also giving training for doing for uh, creating new agri ventures national bank of for agriculture and rural development in short nabard along with rbi they are also doing um, helping um, the farmers farm youths and other persons to involve in agri business and agri agro based activities 
and Atma, the Agriculture Technology Management Agency, the present extension mechanism followed in the uh, country, in the state, they are also helping uh, agri to develop agri entrepreneurs and also they are using the services of agri entrepreneurs. And uh, this uh, uh, Panjaip Mandi, Agri Mandi, uh, they are also helping to reduce the control of middlemen uh, and uh, for uh, agriculture produce market. And state agriculture marketing banks, they, these banks are set up to actively control markets for food crops and oil seeds in towns and cities. The National Council for State Marketing Board, they are giving training as well as modern facilities. Another one is STC, STD. They are helping in handling the bulk international trades. Farmers market, whatever Sunday number, we know very well in Tamil Nadu. And Ritu Bazaars in Andhra Pradesh, Apna Mandi, they are also providing opportunities for agribusiness. And DEMIC, the domestic and export market intelligence, they are also giving uh, and uh, helping uh, indirectly to support entrepreneurship skills, decision making skills, because they are providing the market intelligence as well as forecasting of prices of commodities. Agro Biotechnology Agency for Rural Development Employment Abroad. That is in Kerala Agriculture University. They are also providing training. Pasumai Padai in Pondicherry. They are helping the uh, like uh, hiring agriculture equipments and missionaries. Grapevine Growers Association in Maharashtra. Uh, they have almost 150 cooperative societies, 500 farmers. The ITC e chopper agribusiness incubators everywhere we are having. Even in uh, the TNA, we are having Tamil Nadu Agriculture University and Karunia University. So many universities are having. Those things, uh, those in, those places also uh, providing facilities for agri pruners. The next, coming to entrepreneurial skills needed for agri pruners, there are some qualities we need uh, to become agri pruner or entrepreneur in agriculture oriented fields. We should be confident, creative, determined, innovative, competitive, high energy. With the high energy, we should function. We should have positive attitude, motivated, and goal-driven. These are the qualities needed for agri pruners. And what are the competencies we need? We need initiativeness. We need. We should be ambitious. Problem-solving capacity. We should have critical thinking. We should have. We should willing to take risk, and we should be flexible and adaptable. Uh, interpersonal skills. Then networking, learning. We need. Then managerial competency. Competencies. Uh, what we need. We need to diagnose properly, plan properly, organize properly. We, we should monitor and control and evaluate, and we should lead. And the entrepreneur, agripreneur should have the technical competencies like managing inputs, managing production, and managing marketing. And the other characteristics needed for agripreneurs, you should be creative, flexible, and reputation may be there, aptitude. Innovative, determined to take risks, goal oriented, hard worker, dynamic, problem solver, proactive in uh, identifying opportunities, confident, etc. And the process, the process involved, we first we need to identify an opportunity and then we need to establish a vision, persuade others, and we must gather resources for our, um, pro, our uh, what venture we are planning to enter. And we should create a new venture or product or market. Then uh, we need to change and adapt with time. This is the process. And coming to the uh, feasible opportunities of entrepreneurship in agriculture, I'm listing out a few ventures where we can enter in, in into. Uh, some like agro produce processing units. Here, no manufacture of any new product simply processing of already produced like rice mills, doll mills, uh, decorticating mills we can enter into. And uh, agro inputs manufacturing units, here production of goods done either for mechanization of agriculture or for increasing the manufacturing of plants. Uh, seed production, uh, productivity to increase the productivity, these uh, inputs are important, seeds, fertilizers, Seed production units, we can start. Fertilizer production units, we can start. Food processing units, we can start. Agriculture implements, we can produce. Then the processing units, processing of milk, fruits, vegetables, sugar can, cashew, even koi, poultry, cattle, tannery, brewery, we can think of. 
and product marketing we can um, market the produce by buying from wholesale or retail we can keep a retail shop commission agent uh, we can uh, act as a commission agent and transport export finance storage consultancy supports we can give to for product marketing and facilitative ventures research and development marketing information quality control insurance energy or the areas where we can enter into uh, as a facilitator then other miscellaneous areas apis we can develop feed processing units we can develop seed processing units we can develop mushroom products production units commercial vermicompost units goat rearing clubs organic vegetable and fruits re retail outlets bamboo plantation zetropa cultivation etc fish rabbit so many other things are there we can venture all these things <clears throat> and agro service centers and these comprise the workshop service center for repairing serving the agriculture implement used in agriculture as well as selling the agro inputs needed for crop cultivation that also we can establish and now many graduates are establishing agri clinics plant clinics and they are giving uh, paid extension uh, services to the farmers agro produce manufacturing units here the entirely new products produced based on agriculture produce as the main raw material from sugar sugar cane uh, bakery items straw board units so many other things and value addition to agro commodities we can add value uh, to the already producing raw materials we can add value and sell and food technology that is a key to processing efficiency many uh, agri pranas are um, there in this particular field another one is textiles weaving the fabric of competitive crops now banana fiber using banana fiber and so many other fiber crops they are blending with the uh, cotton and other spinnable fibers and they are doing um, they are weaving many fabrics so like that creatively we can think of a new venture and leather industry opening roads for global markets so we can think of this leather industry also and forest using the forest products we can build green value chain and this bamboo baskets we can plant like that so many other activities using um, forest products and biotechnology we can use and we can have small uh, units where we can produce biocontrol agents and other things and women oriented ventures are there are many things we know according to our our uh, uh, society community values we can uh, plan uh, few ventures and creative industries uh, we should capitalize our cultural heritage so um, creatively uh, using our cultural heritage we can um, enter into a new venture and these are some of the opportunities i told and uh, finally i would like to tell few success stories this is the success story of apple planet agri clinic mr bukari he attended a training with the indian society of agri business professionals at srinagar and uh, then he started decided to open an agri clinic to assist the farming community in jammu and kashmir mostly the fruit crops are grown especially the apple so but the farmers they used to spray uh, more pesticide and several dose of fertilizers they are giving for this apple trees so he thought of giving extension service and he started a um, agri clinic and he suggests right doses of pesticide fertilizers and seeds and other inputs to the farmers now he has 500 farmers under his association and he developed apple planet agri clinics successfully he is running that and excel breeding livestock service gajendra kumar bamania he is a um, veterinary doctor with uh, management uh, degree from international agri business management he attended uh, he got training from international school for public leadership ahmedabad and he started uh, a business in rural areas called excel breeding and livestock service and also he developed a software to monitor the breeding services he provided to the dairies and a full he set up a full pledge laboratory also now he is doing all the services like uh, salmon sales cattle sourcing cattle sale all these services he is providing to farmers and he is a successful entrepreneur mobile agriculture school and services 
uh, I can say Vijay Bharat, uh, he started a mobile agriculture school and service. He just, it's a bus in Jargon and B, remote villages of Jargon and Bihar. He's helping the farmers uh, using modern agriculture technology and uh, giving service at their doorstep. And um, he's also selling seeds, fertilizers, and pesticides. Successfully, he's uh, doing his agri um, business. And another one is Ocean Foods. She Udai Veer Singh Rana is from Haryana. He had um, uh, took training from a Indian Society of Agribusiness Professionals, Haryana. And uh, he noticed uh, during the training period that they are following scientific procedure for honey processing. So he thought of starting a honey processing unit and he named it Ocean Foods. And uh, he obtained, uh, he started obtaining and processing honey flower wise and good storage facility also he established a processing unit he established and now uh, the first year itself he earned a net profit of 15 lakhs with a total sale of 80 lakhs so these are some of the success stories and from cotton i would like to show you a success story you may be knowing this person and uh, you can view the video this is uh, for five minutes only then we will finish the presentation Is it audible? My video audio is not coming. Not not playing, ah? Huh? The video is playing, but audio is not coming. Okay, okay. No. Audio is coming? Ma'am, no audio, ma'am. Uh, may I play the okay, video, ma'am? Okay, then leave that. Huh? Ah. Oh, okay, ma'am. Okay, let me, we'll... let me play the video, ma'am. Okay, okay. Mm. I will stop share then. Huh? Stop sharing at Chapa. This is about Rossi seeds. They started um, producing cotton seeds and now they have become um, a great entrepreneur in agri business areas. I think uh, here also we could not get the voice. 
okay uh, we will leave that i will give the reference
does not end with the mere provision of quality seeds and services. To make the seeds available in every corner of the country, Brasi has over 40,000 point of sales with 200 sales offices. A large techno commercial expert team from Brasi meets with millions of farmers annually and to educate and train them on the latest developments of farming practices and technologies. From the moment farmers buy the seeds till the harvest, the on field experts help and guide farmers on various agriculture related problems to guarantee the farmers reap maximum yield, be it quality or quantity. The dynamic and disciplined approach practiced by Rasians has forever etched it to the hearts of the farmers. And today, Rasi seeds are sold over a mammoth land area of more than 6.5 million acres. Last year, we are only creating excellence for genetics, but also with human resources. As they say, we don't build a business, we build people, and it's the people who build the business. Hence, we create an ideal platform for individuals to unleash their potential. I strongly believe that this guy is very talented and self motivated to work in the business. Rasi has touched the lives of millions of farmers through its strong value systems of respecting intellectual properties, unwavering in its commitment to quality, transparent business policies, and dedicated services to its farmers. Relentless pursuit has established Rasi as a household name in the nation's agrarian value. A developing nation without the prosperity of its farmers is like soaring high with wings of wax. Nations are built upon the toys of farmers and nourished by their sweat. We carry the nation's uh, Dr. Anand, we can stop the video. We'll okay. conclude. Oh, thank you. Okay. But on their fragile shoulders, understanding the challenges of farmers and farming. Is working shoulder to shoulder with them by providing quality seeds and services. Rossi strongly believes that a nation's development is complete. When its farmers' lives get better and smiling farmers. Ma'am, only 20 space seconds. Rossi takes pride in partnering with the farmers and seniors with their selfless services. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Let us. Please unmute, ma'am. Ah, okay. I will conclude my talk. Uh, so, agri entrepreneurship is the call of ours to take make agriculture a more attractive and profitable business enterprise. We have seen many things. What is agri pruner and uh, what are the opportunities available in agriculture crops oriented as well as other allied ag sectors uh, to start a business. And um, I would like to conclude my presentation with a saying. The vision must be followed by the venture, and it is not enough to stare up the steps. We must step up the stairs. Best wishes for all of you. Thank you very much for your kind attention and the opportunity. Thank you. Never know. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your valuable lecture and wonderful presentation on the topic Entrepreneur Opportunities in Agricultural Crops. We really learned with your quiz related to become successful entrepreneur. I hope from your lecture, lots of confidence in starting new startups. Thank you, ma'am. Now the forum open for audience for discussion. You may ask queries or clarification.
मैम मैम आई हैव वन क्लैरिफिकेशन मैम आफ्टर बीइंग एन एंटरप्रेनर वी सपोर्ट अवर प्रोडक्ट फॉर फॉरेन फॉर इनकम एंड इट आल्सो एनकरेज इकोनॉमी ऑफ इंडिया बट द वे ऑफ इनकम वी डिपेंड ऑन अदर कंट्री मैम बट आई लाइक टू गेट गुड इनकम फ्रॉम माय ओन कंट्री and to serve for our people with our natural resource so is it possible to make our resource for our own people ma'am and uh, also to get a good uh, income yes definitely we can make use of our own resources for the welfare of our own people for the video what we have seen is uh, from tamil nadu based uh, agri business venture only and the person dr ramasamy is from our own athur district only he started the business using the resources available in our state and now he is uh, useful for all the cotton growing as well as other agriculture uh, commodity growing states in our country only so it is very much possible okay ma'am thank you ma'am thank you If there is no queries, uh, we can move for formal vote of thanks. I invite Miss Shilpa Das to deliver the vote of thanks. Good afternoon to all. Uh, gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all the others. I, on behalf of PG and Research Department of Botany, MGM College. and on my own behalf extend my sincere and hearty thanks to speaker for sharing their knowledge findings views and their experience in the field of agriculture extension and entrepreneur opportunities in crops my sincere gratitude to science academies organization for giving us the opportunity to conduct the webinar for the benefit students and the researchers to know the various developments in the field crops and its economic value I think college management has their uh, support and encouragement in making the webinar a successful one. Our sincere thanks to our beloved principal sir for his valuable support, guidance, and suggestions in conducting the webinar in a fruitful manner. My thanks also goes to Dr. R. Kannan sir, head of UG Department of Botany, NGM College. Dr. M. Leda Isbel ma'am and Dr. A. Logamal Devi ma'am. Dr. K. Rajalakshmi, ma'am, and Dr. E. Neela Madhi, ma'am. My sincere thanks to Dr. R. Rakimuthu, sir, head of head uh, head and PG uh, and research department of botany uh, and workshop coordin uh, coordinator who worked tirelessly and valuable effort and guidance for the success uh, of this workshop. We are gr uh, greatly encouraged by her uh, by her gracious presence and the in uh, immensely. benefit by insp uh, inspiring addresses by uh, today's uh, the speaker that she mentioned about the detailed explanation of indian agriculture and also the challenges faced by indian agriculture and also the types of entrepreneurs my heart felt thanks to faculties of botany department for their valuable contribution in conducting the seminar in good manner my thanks to uh, my thanks also to all the pg students for their support and made the function a successful one i whole heart uh, heartedly acknowledge sincere thanks to every participant from various departments of our college and the other college finally i thank once again all of you for making webinar a successful one. thank you thank you all so uh, there is a feedback link was posted in your chat box a uh, participant please fill it so the link will be active only for 15 minutes till 12:30 pm so uh, stick on your time and fill this feedback uh, surely so thank you one and all and have a nice day thank you ma'am thank you uh, so much ma'am for your uh, valuable uh, uh, time for uh, presenting uh, here ma'am thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am bye thank you.